Back at the home screen, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually turn my pumps on, um, making sure that you have your feed pumps energized and you actually have the fluid going out to the, the pumps. So as it goes through its startup procedure, the pumps are gonna turn on, they're gonna look for its home position, and once they're satisfied, the system goes right into a standby. From here, I'm gonna go over to the fill page, and right now I've selected pump B, and that's exactly what we want, because we always wanna start by loading the catalyst pump. Um, to go into that, to change it, I could simply go into that page and then drop down and open up the material select button. Um, I'm gonna stay on the B pump because that's where I wanna be. And then from there, I'm just gonna pick up my gun. I'm gonna make sure my manual mix module is in spray mode. We'll trigger the gun into a grounded bucket. And then we'll just hit the start or play button. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna start running this pump. And what I'm looking for here is I'm looking to make sure that I have a solid line of fluid coming out of the end of the gun. You can kind of see right now it's uh, triggering a little bit of air and water. You want to make sure all that air is out of the system. Okay, once you're confident all the air is out of the system, I'm simply going to shut the gun off. Because remember, this is a two-color system and they're sharing the same catalyst. So I'm gonna set gun one down and we'll grab the second gun. And again, make sure that the mix module is in the spray position. And then we'll just trigger this gun into the bucket as well. And once again, we're just looking to make sure we get that smooth, um, clear line of fluid coming out of the gun without any air anymore. Okay, that gun looks good now, so we'll just Set that gun aside, and we're going to come back up to the ADM, and I'm going to go ahead and stop that pump, and then we're going to go down. And we're going to now select the A pump, all right? Now, because I have two colors in here, I have to tell it which color I want to load. And right now, we are in color number one, so that will be gun number one. First thing we want to do, because we have color change on this one, is we want to prime the system, and that's going to prime the pump automatically. So I'm simply going to hit my prime button, and the pump will prime using the color change valves. And you can notice up on the screen here, it's actually flushing it, and then it will load it. Now the duration of this flush is going to depend on how you programmed your flush procedure. Okay, now the flush is done and we're loading color number one. Okay, now that color number one is fully loaded into the pump, we're gonna pick up gun number one. We'll trigger it into our grounded bucket and then we'll go ahead and we'll start. And now what we're doing is we are priming what would be the paint or the color out to that gun. And again, same procedure when we were loading the catalyst. We just wanna make sure we get good, clean, uh, material out of the gun without any air disruption. Okay, once we're sure we're good, we can go ahead and shut that pump off. We'll set that gun down, and we'll grab our other gun, and I'm just gonna go up here, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, and we're gonna select color number two. Once that's done, then I can go ahead and we have to clear color number one out of the pump. So I'm gonna hit the prime and that's gonna flush the pump. Now that color one's been flushed from the pump and we've loaded in color number two, I'm gonna trigger my gun into the grounded bucket and we'll hit the start button. And now we're just gonna hold the gun trigger open until we have good paint coming out of the second gun. Once we're sure that we have all the air out of the system, we can go ahead and stop it. 
We're back at the home screen. We have paint and we have catalyst loaded out to both guns, but we need to load the solvent. We've also got some raw base in the mixed material line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load uh, the solvent all the way out to the gun. So I'm gonna put both guns, both mix manifolds into the flush position. All right, in order to get solvent all the way out to the gun, we're just gonna trigger the gun and we're gonna hit the purge on the main, on the booth controller, and we're gonna run a purge sequence. Now, because there may not be solvent all the way out to the gun at this point, you may have to run this purge sequence a couple of times until you actually have all the paint out of the gun and clear solvent coming out. And you're gonna to wanna to repeat this procedure for both guns. Now we have the system fully loaded with base, catalyst, and solvent. So the next step is going to be to actually put the system into mix and make sure everything's working fine.